What's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna be doing another first impressions and we're gonna be talking about another fragrance from my recent haul. And this one today is gonna to be Latafa's Eternal Oud, okay? So Latafa's Eternal Oud is again, one of those fragrances that is starting to make its headway in the community a lot more recently. It is a cheapie. I got it on Joma Shop for I think 30 to $35, I believe. Um, and so with that being said, you know, these sort of clone brands, these inspired by brands, these dupe brands are really starting to make a name for themselves because of just the times we're living in. Also, you know, I think people are starting to pick up when that sometimes it's not always about getting the name, but rather getting the scent profile. So this is a fragrance that is inspired by or seems to be a clone of Grand Soir by MFK Maison Fractus Good John, okay? So this is a fragrance that is marketed as a very amber, vanilla powder and sweet fragrance. And this one also is gonna have a little bit of fruitiness to it, okay? So nonetheless, my brother, uh, Bernard sent this one to me. He's like, you gotta get your hands on it. You gotta give it a try. Let the community, let the family know about it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into our unboxing. We're gonna write it as we always do. Let's get it. As a collector, I think one of the things that we all love is kind of being able to unwrap a new fragrance and kind of unbox the fragrance. It's almost like Christmas morning every time I get a new fragrance delivered and I get to try the fragrance out. All right, out the box here. Okay, well, the box looks exquisite. They have this little informational book. Now, one thing I am noticing though, when I take it out. Okay, well, this is a little bit of a manufacturing error too, so that's something to always keep in mind about. But luckily, somebody like me who Stan's fragrance knows that this isn't the worst thing in the world. Take the cap, reconnect it. All right. All right, here we go, we're in business. Do that, put the cap back on. So the cap got a little stuck there, if you, if you notice. So I had to connect the cap back. So a little bit of a mal manufacturing there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. These things happen with fragrances. It's not just cheapies, but designers do this. Sometimes in transit, whenever you buy fragrances, you get them from Amazon, you get them from these warehouses, sometimes they can get muddied. Sometimes the box can kind of jumble while it's in transit. So, you know, something to understand and think about. But this is the look, the nice gold juice in there with this tree design, this tree look on the bottle. So all in all, the bottle design is nice. Gold cap. Here we go. So, Eternal Oud again. We're gonna be getting some plum, we're gonna be getting some grapefruit, we're gonna be getting some heliotrope, orchid. Then we got that MFK Grand Soir DNA in the amber, the benzo, and the vanilla, the labdanum, the tonkin bean, and as well as the uh, cedar. So we're gonna be seeing if this one really can match it and if this one is just as good, does the quality hold up? We got our strip, we got the fragrance. Here we go. Nice atomizer. That's a nice atomizer. Okay, liking the smell off fruit. Let this dry down a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay. Yep, this is Grand Soir, but it's Grand Soir done a little fruitier and with some ouds added onto it. So it's a little bit more woody, a little bit more spicy, with a little bit more citrus. It does give you that Grand Soir DNA with that powdery, vanillic, you know, sort of musk mixed with the benzo. You can definitely smell it. So all in all, what I would say is that if you're looking for a Grand Soir dupe that is a little bit different, this one could be something you add, especially if you're not trying to pay Grand Soir prices. Grand Soir is gonna go for at least 320, right? But if you wanna get that same replica DNA kind of, well, we can go with this one here. So as far as matching the scent profile and the scent DNA, if that's what you're going for, it does accomplish that, right? Now, the projection, I can tell, it isn't nearly as strong. It's really soft projecting, so, so it's not very loud. As it dries down, it's even more fruity than Grand Soir. Grand Soir dries down to a more powdery musk rather than a sort of citrusy woods and spice, okay? But this one still gets the job done. I would say this one isn't as close as some of the other dupes and other clones of other fragrances that I've tried. This one, like, I would say this one gives me about 65, 75% at the most, 
right? And you can tell they were trying to inspire it by Grand Soir, but they took their own unique spin. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Definitely, I like the fragrance and something I can definitely pull and use as sort of a night out fragrance. Definitely, this is night out dinner, not night out clubbing. I would even say night out date. Like night out, you want to wear something, you're about to go out with your people, you go out with your friends, go out with your family maybe, and you want to have something nice to wear more and you're on a budget maybe, or maybe fragrance isn't always your thing, right? This would be a nice fragrance to get and sort of add. Uh, the citruses, you're gonna get the fruitiness you're gonna get. You're getting a little bit that, there's like a plum, there's a plum, and not lemon, but like grapefruit. There's a, it's like a, there's a little bit of a tartness to it in a good way, in a good way. It's definitely gonna give it a little bit more of a freshness. So if you think Grand Soir is a little too vanilla, a little too sweet, you want your fragrance a little bit more citrusy fresh you would like this i think if you don't want your fragrance overly loud that you would like this i would imagine though just experiencing the fragrance probably not the longest longevity and it's not going to be the furthest projecting for sure now we're going to do our skin test obviously this is it is good it is good i do like it Off of the skin, it's a little bit more on that floral you, with that citrus, right? You're still getting the plum, you're still getting the grapefruit, but a little bit more of that orchid in there, you can definitely get a hold of. And then you're getting that amber and benzoin. You're getting that vanilla a little bit. The oud isn't overly loud in this fragrance. You definitely can tell there's a little, little at least in spice in there, which is the oud, but it's not like one of those oud fragrances where it's gonna overpower the scent. It's actually pretty, pretty well mashed. Hmm. Yeah, but, but overall, this is good. This is good. I'm glad I got it. So, again, guys, this is the Tafas Intense Oud. So, definitely wanting to get your hands on again, especially for the price. You know, $25, $35, $40 at the most. But, you know, especially if you're looking at discounted, you really don't have to pull that much of it. You don't have to pull the trigger on that high fragrance point. So, again, guys, now do it. The Tafas. Internal oud. Oof. This is good. Good, good, good. Nice Grand Soir alternative. If you want to get your hands on a nice quality fragrance, but you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on it, this would be a good option for you. Again, guys, I'll do it for today. I appreciate all you guys for listening. Continue to tap in. You guys are commenting. You guys are sharing the fragrance knowledge. I'm learning from y'all in the comments. I'll continue to do so. I love seeing you guys comment. I love seeing you guys engage with me, engage with each other in the comment section about what you guys wear, do not wear. Some of the fragrances, even you guys mentioned, I'm, I'm adding those to the list as well, adding them to the cards for my next haul. So I appreciate it. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, whatever you guys want to see next. Share the page with a fellow Fraghead. And as always, we'll catch y'all on the next one. What's love?